Okay, so in this video, I am going to walk you through exactly how you can use the Merch by Amazon t shirt design template, which I would advise you to use if you are working within Photoshop, Illustrator, or even GIMP to ensure that you are correctly using the design specifications recommended by Amazon in order to create great looking t shirts. Now, if you go to the resources section within Merch by Amazon, you can see right up at the top here within best practices, please use our design template to make your t shirts. So, if I open that up in a new tab, we can have a quick look. And here we go download t shirt template. And they actually have three different templates to choose from depending on the application that you are using to create your t-shirts. Namely, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and GIMP. Now, I actually use Adobe Photoshop for the majority of my designs. So I would just need to click on the Photoshop link, and then it begins downloading. Once the template is downloaded to your hard drive, you can open Photoshop, or indeed your application of choice, locate the file that you have downloaded, and then open up the template. As you can see, Amazon provides you with instructions on how to use the template. But I thought I would walk you through it in order to get you up and running as quickly as possible. And basically, the first thing you need to do is place your t shirt design here within this rectangle. And the way we can do this is by going over to the Layers panel on the right hand side and editing the Smart Object for either the design on the front of the t shirt or the design on the back of the t-shirt. Now for this example, I am only going to have a design on the front of the t-shirt, so I shall hide the back layer, and then edit the front layer. What we need to do is right click on the layer, and then click on Edit Content, which opens up the Smart Object in a new tab, which currently consists of two layers one of which instructs you to place your t-shirt design here before hiding the layer and then saving the tab as a PNG file or ping. As you can see, when we hide the sample image layer with the instructions, we are left with a clean layer, which effectively acts as a transparent background onto which we can add the text and graphics of our design. And this basically ensures the 4500 by 5400 pixel area, as well as all of the other set parameters. Now, for the purposes of this example, I am actually going to open a design that I created yesterday about a one horned dinosaur, which says unicorns do exist, or at least they used to. And so it is basically a different take on the Unicorns Do Exist type t-shirts, as technically this one-horned dinosaur was a unicorn. Although it is extinct now, of course. So, I want to place this design over here on the Smart Object. And my preferred method for doing this is to highlight each of the layers that make up the design Then click on Layer, and then Duplicate Layers, before then changing the destination to the Sample Replace with your Design file. Like so. So let's click on that, and check that it has duplicated over successfully, which it has. Then we just need to save the file, 
as you can see it is saving here and once it reaches 100% we can return to the template tab to find that our design is now part of the t-shirt template. At this point we can start to look at how our design appears on the different styles of shirt such as the men's t-shirt, the women's t-shirt and the youth's t-shirt and we can also see how the design appears on the different coloured shirts. As this particular design is quite suitable for a child I shall keep this style visible while we check out each of the different colours. So if we click on this little arrow here next to the shirt colours layer we can see each of the different shirt colours that Amazon provides and in my opinion this is the main reason for using the template as we can see which colours work best with our design and also we can go back and tweak our design if we feel a particular colour needs changing in order to fit better with a particular t-shirt colour. Now what I usually like to do is make each of these layers visible to begin with like so, one for each of the colours and then I work my way down the colours making a note of the t-shirt colours that work best with the design. So we start with cranberry and I don't particularly like the way that that one looks but I can hide the cranberry layer and have a look at the next colour which is red. Now that looks a bit better, yes that's definitely a possibility. I actually like the lemon colour but I'm a little bit concerned about the white text on the yellow background. I think it should be okay though and I, I do like this colour especially for a child shirt. The next one is grass and I think that one looks very nice. I think that's definitely a winner. One of the colours that I'll be choosing for this design. The next one is Kelly Green and that works quite well but as we already have a green I probably wouldn't go for that one. The next colour is olive. Again that works quite well. I like the contrast with the white text. And the next colour is baby blue. Oh yes I like that colour a lot especially for a child. Yep, yeah, that's another winner. I shall definitely go with that one. So far I've liked the lemon. The grass and baby blue. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. This is royal blue, which can be a good colour, but it clearly doesn't work with this particular design. And the same goes with navy because of the black text and navy is often one of my go-to colours. Brown does not work too well either. Asphalt's not too bad. And then we have slate. Oh yes, I think that looks very good. Silver's a bit too light, doesn't really work with the white text. Obviously we can't have black for this particular design, although it is my go-to colour for most of my designs. And again it doesn't work with white either, but then to be honest I very rarely use white as one of my t-shirt colours in any case. Okay, so I think the colours that I will go for with this particular design are grass. Okay, I think I'll do this in reverse order actually. So I'm going to go for slate, baby blue, I'm going to go for grass and also lemon and I think I shall go for red as well. So they are the colours that I'm going to choose for this design and I just like to keep the layers visible so that when I enter the t-shirt details later on I have a record of which t-shirt colours worked well with that particular design. So once we are satisfied that our design looks good on certain styles and with certain colours we need to return to the design itself 
ensure that the sample image is hidden, and then we save the image as a PNG. So we choose Ping from the drop down menu, and we also need to make sure that Embed Color Profile has been ticked. Now, what I'm going to do is save the file to my Assets folder. Change the name to Unicorns Do Exist. And then click on Save. Keep the compression to smallest. And then click on OK. Now, if we go back to my Merch by Amazon dashboard, and click on Create, we can upload our design. Here you get the reminder of Amazon recommending that we use their template, which is exactly what we have done. And we are only interested in uploading a front design, so I shall click on Upload, locate and select the file, Unicorns do exist. And wait for the image to upload. OK, there you go. Our design has uploaded. So I shall save the selection. Right, I'm not going to bother about pricing for this example, and I'm just going to select the youth size of t-shirt. What I'm really concerned with is selecting the colours that I have chosen earlier. If you remember, I have made each of the layers visible in the template, and I chose red, lemon, grass, baby blue, and slate. So let's go back to my Merch by Amazon dashboard and select those same colours here. We want lemon. I shall untick silver. We also want red and grass. Baby blue and slate. And they are the five colours that I have chosen for this design. I think my favourite colour of all is baby blue. But that's one, two, three, four, five. So we are now ready to decide on the pricing and then obviously the description fields on the next screen. So there you go. That is how I use the Merch by Amazon t shirt template within Photoshop to make sure my designs look good on certain t shirt styles and more importantly, on particular colours. And in the next video, I am going to show a workaround for those of you who don't want to use this template or perhaps are not able to use this template because you are designing your shirts in a different application.